Alrighty, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here today returning with another amazing art subscription box, which happens to be the Smart Art Box. Now, this box is really cool and really different because if you watched my last video on the Smart Art Box, then you saw that it was an art subscription box that came with an art project, an art challenge, and some really cool craft prompt. It's really cool because not only does it teach you about the craft you're making, but you get to make the craft and you get to learn a little bit about art history and everything. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. We're looking inside and we got all this beautiful orange paper. We're gonna open it. And hey, I see, I see stuff. I don't know what's going on, but it's exciting. Oh my goodness. Stop it! So this is what's inside our beautiful box. It's what it looks like inside. So I'm gonna set this down. A little bit of like a history. So they give us this magazine, so it really is like a subscription. So they give me a little bit of history on what we're making and it's mold making and casting. Oh my gosh, we're gonna make stuff. <gasps> I'm so excited. So this is called Composite Mold Originals. We can reuse this and keep reusing this on stuff. <gasps> Okay. And then I have Composite Stone, Composite Stone, I'm just kidding. So we've got a Princeton Artist Brush Company, little a set of three brushes. This looks very nice, so they're gonna be really nice to use in the future. Two, three, four, really pretty metallic paints. Black acrylic paint, just to use. This is gonna be nice to use. A Will Owl! He's so cute! Oh, it wants us to make something with this. So we can make something with this owl. That's what the directions just told me. So I'm not here to show you all these fantastic supplies that came in this box. Obviously, we're gonna have to jump into a time lapse of me making this amazing craft that Smart Art Box has sent to us. So it's a challenge. Let's go ahead and jump into that. So this is what a closer up look uh, what's inside the box. It's really well packaged and very, very nice to look at. So I opened up the composite mold and this stuff is so much fun to play with <laughs> because it just feels like, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It feels like um, whatever that stuff is called, tiramisu or something. But uh, flan, flan, that's what I'm looking for. So I started off with picking this flower. It's a flower pendant and I thought, all right, I'm gonna give this a try and try to recreate a mold out of this. And the directions said to go ahead and cut up the composite mold so it melts a little faster in the microwave, put it in a microwave safe uh, plastic dish. So our little gelatin flan cube little cylinder thing is now extremely hot and sticky. So this is when I really started to struggle because it wasn't staying upright, it wasn't staying flat, and I had to learn the hard way by trial and error that I wasn't doing it right. So when I took the flower out after the composite mold was done sitting around and it was hardened, I started to pour the composite stone into it, and lo and behold, I had a hole in my mold. So, it, yeah, it wasn't working. It just wasn't working and it was horrible. <laughs> Look at this mess. But it wasn't the product's fault. It was my fault because now I knew to find something flat and easy and to make sure that there are no holes. So I tried this key next and the key wasn't working out either because it kept making holes like the flower. So I just was freaking out. So I just went ahead and I kept grabbing more and more containers and more objects to that were flat objects to try to make molds out of. And then finally one was successful. Yes, the mocking J pin. <laughs> but I used an old ring that I got off a cupcake back when the mocking J was released. <laughs> so oh my goodness, my mold is going to be the mocking J pin. But hey, we're gonna make a coin. It's gonna be great. 
So finally, I could go on to the next step when I had my successful mold. So I went ahead and I did the composite stone and I followed the directions, make sure two and a half powder and then one part water and go ahead and mix them together and fill in the mocking J pin. But this is gonna look like a coin and make sure you shake it around, make sure you get those bubbles out it suggested. And of course I went ahead and painted my owl cause I wasn't gonna make a mold of the owl. I was bound and determined to find something that I can make a mold out of. But look how pretty these metallic paints are. What did I tell you when I was showing them off? I said something like, I didn't say it in the video but I just said to myself, they are going to dry this pretty. And I wanted him to look all metallic and wise-like and like the golden owl. I don't know, he could be like some relic in a fantasy novel. Let's find the golden owl and the treasure. And finally we come to the Mockingjay mold. Oh my gosh, it's alive and it looks great. Now I actually wanted to paint this. Finally, and I wanted to paint this to look more like a coin instead of the pin and I don't know Maybe there's some backstory that hey So just to let people know within the capital that we're with the Mockingjay that could pass off this coin like a little peace offering and say hey I'm not with the capital. I don't know something really cool like that some cool backstories, but here they are my pretty Mockingjay coin and my pretty little owl. I love how the Mockingjay J coin looks like it's been burned and scorched and ah, it just looks like it's been through a war and it looks great. Oh, they should have used it with the props in the Mockingjay part two. Okay. So what did you guys think of that? I can honestly say that that was the first time in a long time that I've made mold creations. I'm not a huge pottery person, but this has given me the opportunity to explore the fact that I can make these things. I mean, that's what's really, really cool about Smart Art Box because they challenge you and they send you a craft and they teach you all about this craft and the materials you're making and like from the past, I mean, we've all seen molded sculptures and stuff laying around our yard or if we just walk into the hardware store or like a yard store, then we see all these molded sculptures that sit around your yard. So we just got a piece of that. Could you imagine making like a huge garden gnome to sit out in your front lawn, but we just had like a little bag. So this is really cool because this is what smart art has taught us. So make sure you go and check out their website, click on it, and look into getting your own subscription to Smart Art Box because it's just a pretty box in general. <laughs> but it's cool, it's educational, and it's a fun project and a challenge, and you're completely immersed into this whole art spectrum. But yes, I really hope you guys will go and check it out. Thank you for watching and thank you Smart Art Box for sending me another fun project. I mean, I would have never tried this if it weren't for you guys. Bye! Do, 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 do.